Hey everybody, it's Mr. Bowman again. Today we're going to be looking at combining like terms with both whole numbers and integers. So hopefully you remember that uh, whole numbers and integers are very similar. The only difference is with uh, integers, you could have some negative numbers mixed in there as well. But uh, we're going to avoid fractions and decimals and everything while we're sticking with uh, these two. So first things first, looking at with whole numbers, here we have 5b minus 3b. So we could be adding or subtracting, but the principle works the same way. Uh, we want to first make sure they are like terms so they have the same variables or the same number of variables. In this case, they both have a single b as their variable, so they are like terms. In which case, I'm just going to look at their coefficients then and use that operation. So I'm just going to do 5 minus 3, which I'm sure you know is 2. And then you bring down that variable the same way it occurred. We're not going to change that at all. So 5b minus 3b will give you a single 2b. And that's your answer for whole numbers. When we come down here to integers, it works the same way. We just may have some negative numbers, like we have this negative 2 here at the beginning. So first, make sure they're like terms. So I have a single a here and a single a here. So they are like terms. So I'm just going to look at my coefficients, negative 2 and 9, and I'm going to subtract. So negative 2 minus 9 gives you negative 11, and I'm just going to bring that single a down and end up with negative 11a. And that's all there is to it.